Hi guys, uh, Carl from Aldi Vapes again, and today I'm going to be taking a look at AVB Liquids full range. Um, they have sent me these for the purposes of review, so thank you Andrew Sharples for sorting that out for me. Um, and these are going to be the new sample packs that they're releasing very, very soon. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below where you can check out AVB's website. Um, they'll be bringing, I'm not sure when they're bringing them out. I, I'll try and find out and then put that in the description as well. Uh, but there'll be £11.99 delivered for the... I think it was 11 pound £11 delivered, so even better. You get seven 10 mil bottles at 0 milligram just to try each flavour out, see if you like it or not. And these are the bottles that you'll get. However, from what I understand, I think the labels will change slightly because there's no warnings or anything on there whether or not there needs to be because it's 0 milligram. Not entirely sure, but I don't know if this is going to be the final design for them or not. Uh, so the first one we're going to be taking a look at is the blue, well it's called Smurf's Blood, which is lovely. Um, and it's meant to be a blue slush flavour. So the flavour profile is blue slush puppy flavour that is exactly like drinking the real thing, a deep sour raspberry. And I fucking love blue slush. So I've already dripped it, I re-wicked my V God Elite and I'm using it on the Wismic RX 300 at 100 watts, so we'll, uh, we'll have a go. I don't know if you've noticed, but the scenery behind me has changed. That's because I've got a baby due in January and I've been kicked out of the bedroom by the missus. So, abandoned conservatory it is. Anyway, let's have a look at this Smurf's blood. It's a very, very sour raspberry, it's nice. That's a lot of cloud for 60-40, but then again it's high wattage. Right, let me just drip some more of this. It's elite, it's thirsty. Right, let's have a go. Here. Now, the only one that I have tried out of ABV, uh, yeah, AVB's range is the Monkey's Blood. And I got on alright with it, to be fair. I haven't used a great deal of it, but I've got, I think I've got like 120ml of that left. Or 100ml of it, or something like that. But this is nice. I wish I'd gone for Smurfs blood now. Alright. Let's have a look. It's tasty. So, definitely on the inhale, you get the really blue raspberry like slush puppy flavor that's not too strong and then on the exhale you get the sour taste that just sort of brings it all together and makes it just like a blue slush it's gorgeous oh i'm definitely a big fan of that oh crikey that's nice. If you like blue slush, oh, like when I first started vaping, all I used to have was blue slush and pinkman. Um, so this for me is a godsend. It's getting cloudy already. I did not expect it to be this cloudy. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, blue slush. Big fan. Big fan of Smurfs blood from AVB. Absolutely. Um, so the next one is Wise Man, which is supposed to be fresh watermelon and fresh strawberry with a slight sour taste, a fresh fruit explosion. Um, so I'll just finish off the rest of this. It's the first time I'm using this Vigod Elite and it's absolutely outstanding. I'm gonna be reviewing this at some point as well, but I'm gonna use it for a little bit before I you know, sort of get into it so I know what I'm talking about sort of thing. Right, so wise man immediately just smells like watermelon. I'm not really picking anything else up other than the watermelon. Alright, so let's give it a drip. Yeah, I've not really found a watermelon flavour that I like. Usually because it just tends to be overpowered. I'm not the massive fan of watermelon to be quite honest with you. So let's just give this a drip here. There we go. Nice and dandy. All right, just remove this. A little bit of spillage. It's not good. Don't over drip, guys. It's not great. There we go. Right. 
let's give this a blast. Definitely still smells like watermelon. Okay, that's uh, I've never really had much like that before, to be honest. So, on the inhale, it's definitely watermelon, and then you get the hint of strawberries. I wouldn't say it's a lot of the fresh strawberry, but there's definitely a hint there that you can pick up on. And then when you exhale, it's just a, it just this slight sour taste that sort of brings it together. It's actually quite nice, and it really is refreshing. Uh, that's nice yeah I, like I say in my other videos all I normally have is fruit and that's quite tasty um, so I would probably vape that all day even though I'm not the biggest fan of watermelon it's not really overpowering like I found a lot of other juices that contain watermelon are yeah that's good it's nice I'll just uh, get a few blasts to get this out of the way. There we go. So yeah, that's wise, man. Quite nice. I'm impressed. Like I say, the only one I have tried in this range is Monkey's Blood. So I'm quite happy I get to try all these, to be honest, because I know what to get. Now, the next one is Raspberry Cheesecake Supreme. Oh boy, that does smell like cheesecake. I'm going to leave that one to last, because I have a feeling it will clog my coils up and I won't be able to taste anything else other than cheesecake. Uh, what's have I got? Custo. Right, so Custo is a deep fried fresh donut full of deep, thick, dairy custard finished off with a sweet sugar glaze. Now nah, then. Just smells like custard at the minute. We'll give it a go. I've not really had too many um, sort of desserty custard flavours or donuts. I think the only one I've tried is by Rick Liquor, which was Carnival, and that was quite nice to be honest. I'll just give this a trip. Okay, Smol it smells nice. It really does. Okay, right, so this one is custard dough, and I have over dripped again. Not good. I'll pump this up to 120. 120. There we go, right, let's give this a go. Mmm. That's really nice. So, it's, it's very deep custard. Dairy custard. Thick dairy custard. It's more custard-like than what I imagined it to be. Mmm. I can't really taste the deep-fried donuts in this. Um... What I can get is like the sort of, you get the generic desserty taste on the inhale and then on the exhale it's a really deep, rich, thick custard that just, it tastes divine for a custard juice, but I just can't taste the donuts. Um, give it another blast. I'm not getting the donuts there, but it is a nice custard flavour. No, I, I can't taste the donuts, but I, I really do like this juice as a custard desserty sort of thing, and I'm not really a big fan of desserts, so that's good, that's good. Uh, the the custard isn't sickly or anything like that, it is, it's actually really, really nice, quite, you know, like I said before, rich, thick, sort of sweet custard, it's delicious, it's nice. Right, what shall we do next? 
Um, which one haven't I done? Custard caramel, well, custard cream eclair. So this one is custard cream eclair, vanilla cream, like a vanilla slice cake filling, and rich pastry borrowed from an eclair cake with a hint of maple syrup for a deep, satisfying cream. So that smells nice. You definitely smell the sort of eclairy chocolatey taste. Well, not chocolate. Let's, let's, let's just have a drip and have a go. That's the easiest way I want to find out. There we go. Try not to over drip. This V-God is absolutely fucking outstanding. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's amazing. Such a good RDA. Because I was using the Dead Rabbit for a little bit in my previous videos, but I got bored of it. It was just annoying me, but this one is absolutely fucking outstanding. I mean, look at that. It's just, it's beautiful. It's such a beautiful RDA, and you can fit some massive builds in here. Right, that should be enough for that. So, custard cream eclair. Let's give that a shoot. 120 watts. Alright, so on the inhale of that one, it's more of a, a custard, less of, of a sort of stronger custard than the other one, but more of a custard inhale, and then on the exhale, it's sort of pastry, like really tasty pastry base um, that you can just get out. It's hard to explain, to be honest. Mm. You get the subtle hint of the sort of filling of the eclair with a little bit of vanilla, but that's all I'm really getting from it. Hmm. Yeah, that's about as much as I can say. It's custard, eclair, and some pastry base, and that's it works really well. It's nice for what it is. Yeah, I, it, only a sort of hint of vanilla though. I thought it'd be a bit more with it being in the clear or, you know, with it saying cream. But, I don't know. But yeah. It's nice. It's good. I like all these flavours, to be honest. I'm going to leave Monkey's Blood till last because I've already, I've already had that. I know what that's like. Um, I'm looking forward to that one. We'll, we'll save that till later. There's only three left anyway. Alright, so yeah. Uh, Raspberry Cheesecake Supreme. I can't actually find a flavour profile for this on their website. Um, I checked the description, but it's just blank. So... All I'm going on is that it's a Raspberry Cheesecake Supreme. And what that entails, I don't know. Let's go. Uh, yeah, this juice chokes to say, I think it's all 60-40 uh, VGPG. So to say, I'm, I mean, fair enough, yeah, I'm doing 120 watts, but, you know, get some nice clouds out of it, and the flavour is immense. So. It's very cheesecakey. Enough for that. I haven't over dripped it in three bottles. This is great. So, on the original smell, it smells a bit like raspberry crumble or something to me. Well, let's give it a go. Oh, it's a bit wet. Might have over dripped again slightly. God, this room is absolutely full of smoke or oh, vapour. Hmm. 
All right, so without knowing the flavor profile, I wouldn't really be able to guess what's in this. It's you can sort of hint on the raspberries, but predominantly it's very strong cheesecake, uh, which is which is nice. Don't get me wrong, I can't taste any raspberries, but I don't know what else is supposed to be in this flavor. I can't really put my finger on it. Yeah, can't put my finger on that one. But I'm not the biggest fan of it because it's cheesecake. I can deal with so much cheesecake, but to me it's a little bit much. Hmm. No, someone, someone's going to like cheesecake. And if you like cheesecake, you like raspberries. Bang on. Go for it. Right, so the last one is monkey's blood. Oh, sorry, last two. I've got monkey's blood and the caramel latte. I'm going to leave caramel latte to the last because I really, really like the sound of that. Uh, anyway, Monkey's Blood is a Mr. Whippy ice cream with strawberry and raspberry sauce, just like the seaside. Um, and like I said previously, I have had this and I do quite like it. But for the purpose of the video, I will go ahead and drip some anyway. So, let me just pop this out. One day I'll be able to do this and not get juice all over the RX300. I really do feel bad for it. There we go. Right. Put that back on. So, monkey's blood. Whew. Mm. Yeah. I like it. I like Monkey's Blood, and that's why I bought it, because I like the flavour profile. <sighs> yeah, lovely. So, as soon as you inhale, you sort of get the, the ice cream and just the hint of the raspberry and strawberry sauce. You definitely get more of a Mr. Whippy taste and then just slightly mix so it's really, really sweet and nice. Exhale, all those flavours come together, man, like fucking hell. The lot. It's like, literally, you may as well just be licking a fucking Mr. Whippy ice cream with strawberry and raspberry sauce. It's amazing. Really, really like that liquid. Glad I've got like 100 ml or so left, so yeah, great. It's one of my favourites. But I'm going to have to get some of that Smurfs blood because that is tasty. Right, the one I have been really looking forward to because I haven't really found a sort of latte or coffee drink that I like. So I'm hoping this one delivers. I'm not putting it in here. I'm just going to try and dry the cotton out of this. Right. So, caramel latte. fucking i love latte so i'm hoping this is good so the flavor profile is a smooth dry roast coffee with distinct old school caramel a perfect blend of a real sweet coffee blend so let's give this a good old drip <sighs> it smells like really strong coffee it's nice done it again for some for some reason with these small bottles i keep on a strip juice down the fucking holes and it just keeps pouring out so there we go all right let's give this a whirl oh wow yeah hmm Damn, it's glad it is. Conservatory is so small. Right, so on the inhale of that, it's certainly really strong, like latte sort of taste. And then with the mixture of the caramel, it's, it's really tasty. There's no way other to describe it. Um, but on the exhale, they both come together really, really nicely. And it's like you have just taken a drink of a caramel latte or one of uh, what they call the Toppuccino things. Like at McDonald's, just sort of the aftertaste, and you can taste the coffee beans and the you know the toffee and all that. It just it's really really nice. It's quite comforting and warm. Yeah, I like it. 
And there we go. That's all of them. Bing bang bosh. Um, but yeah, I'm, I have got to do some more videos. Uh, not tonight, obviously. I've been away this weekend and I've only just got back and there's no fucking light. You know, this time of year, it's just going to be fucking pitch black. Especially when I'm filming in a conservatory. You've probably been able to see it go from light to pretty much dark and cloudy as we've gone along in 20 minutes. Um, but I have got some more videos planned for tomorrow and I will get those out. I keep telling people I'm going to be doing them. Um, I just haven't had time, but I will find the time to do it now. Uh, but yeah, I'll put the link and everything else in the description of what I've tried today and where you can get these liquids from EVB. Um, they are great liquids. There's something for everyone, which is what I like. There's You can sort of choose between, you know, you've got your really fruity all the way down to your coffee. You've got your desserts, anything else like that. There's something for everyone on there. Um, if you don't know about it, try the sample packs. It's £11 for 70ml. And that's with delivery. So... Either or, you're going to be getting a good deal anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me. So until next time, I shall have a video out tomorrow, hopefully. So I'll see you guys then.